Hi, I'm Brent Bates. Welcome to Wild West Crypto Show and my over the fence post. Well, you know, I think I announced last week, if I'm not mistaken, that I'm running for mayor. And I, I want to uh, talk a little bit about that, but I really want to kind of uh, tie all of that back into crypto. You know, one of the wonderful things about crypto is, is your anonymity. Um, now, we all know that once once your keys are understood or once your account's known, well, then everything you do gets tracked. But one of the advantages of that is, is that's immutable and, and that's legitimate. And so you can really find out where that currency went, where that token went, who you traded with, so on and so forth. And it gets away from all of the uh, you know, innuendo and rumor and, and so on and so forth. So, you know, uh, one of the benefits, like I said, of cryptocurrency is your anonymity. Well, interestingly enough, you know, one of the concerns that a lot of us have in crypto, myself included, is that a lot of publicly traded companies, a lot of large institutions are coming in and trying to use a lot of the benefits of the blockchain, but it's not truly decentralized. And because of that, you've lost your anonymity. You know, there's somebody that's running that blockchain, you know, and so guess it's really not a blockchain from the standpoint that it is not validated by the community at large, okay? And, and done so anonymously. Well, so when you have something that is in total control of some entity, you know, you, you tend to have problems. And so especially, if it gives them absolute power because absolute power corrupts absolutely. You know, it takes a unique individual to be able to be put in a position to have absolute power and rule it judiciously and, and rule it for the collective benefit of the community, uh, especially in a manner that a lot of us uh, have experienced with blockchain and look forward to those blockchain related uh, entities and, and projects uh, for doing it. And so, you know, it kind of comes down to this, you know, uh, to list or not to list or uh, to be on the list or not be on the list. And what I mean by is that is this, you know, if your keys are your own and your account's not known and you're engaging in activities, trading and investing and so on and so forth, well, you're anonymous until there's some problem and somebody tries to figure out, you know, who's behind that account. But you live with anonymity the whole period of time. Well, the lists that get generated, like the list that has all of the truckers on it and the list of all of the people that gave money to the truckers' benefits, you know, the, the list that uh, is created by who you back in an election. And so one of the things that I'm pondering with, being a lover of, of the blockchain and a lover of people's privacy, is how much outside money do I even take? Well, I actually had plans not to take any. Um, and literally, I was going to just let people go down the road if they wanted to, if they wanted to buy a yard sign. I don't really care if anybody has a yard sign. I'm interested in their vote, not a sign in their yard. And and I'm going to, to you know basically put forth my case for representation of the citizens as mayor and as you might imagine, social media and, you know, uh, Twitter and LinkedIn and Facebook and websites and all of that kind of stuff. And we'll have debates and all that other kind of stuff as well. But I'm not really going to spend a whole lot of money, never plan to spend a whole lot of money on signs. Uh, I find them to be, you know, kind of passe and, you know, they're just kind of a general eyesore. And in a small town, what happens is you may have Mary's sign in your front yard because you know Mary, your kids are friends or whatever. And because you know Mary, yeah, it's a snowball's chance in hell you're going to vote for her. But you'll put the sign in the yard because guess what? It's just a whole lot easier in a small town to keep the peace and let the sign sit out there. And I'm not really interested in how many signs are out there. I'm more interested in how many votes I can get. And I'm interested in being able to bring my message of basically being able to become the citizen's mayor and my constituency will be the general public rather than my constituency being a city staff or the city manager or any uh, purportedly power brokers within uh, the small little puddle that I live in. So interestingly enough, though, if you do send somebody down the road and say, go buy a sign, uh, that is a considered a like kind contribution. And you're supposed to make note of how many of those signs were sold 
And it's my kind of general understanding is uh, you got to make a list, which goes back to the to list or not to list. And, and as many of y'all know, I'm in the middle of a federal lawsuit with the city. So if they will have, uh, if they will have basically closed down a building of mine for two years, trying to extort a sprinkler system out of me, what do you think they're going to do to the average person? Because I'm one of the larger developers in town, if not the largest developer in town. And so if they'll do that to me, what are they going to do to just the average guy? Well, if they drive by, or let's say they don't drive by, they get the list. And so the question is to list or not to list. I'd be interested in some of y'all's comments. The reality is the way the laws are written, they want a list. You know, they want to know. And I understand that that a lot of that is to make sure that somebody's not given too much money to influence and all that other sort of stuff. Um, unfortunately, I'm afraid it's really probably going to find its way to be more of a Canadian trucker list than anything else. So to list or not to list, make some comments I'd be interested to see. And we'll be back next week talking about cryptocurrencies on the Wild West Crypto Shows over the fence post. Y'all have a great weekend.